Well, this jet, AL-1, represents the first time we're going to fly an F-35 outside the continental United States. We're going to fly this aircraft in Europe, here in Italy, in Italian airspace, and it's going to open up the F-35 for European operations. It is definitely no small feat in what we are doing here. And four years ago, uh, this was dirt. And to have built 22 facilities over a million square meters of space, and to say that you've built it, and you actually built the aircraft, ahead of schedule, I might add, uh, is, is really an endorsement of this project. Primo volo, primo volo, first flight, and many more to come. We've been talking about being an international program. Today, we truly are. Today, we have an airplane here that just flew in the Italian airspace. We did a complete test flight. The jet performed marvelously. I mean, we're off and running. Well done. Thank you, sir. Bene, Geneva. The general understands the capability that this airplane brings to the militaries around the world. He understands the capability that other young pilots don't quite understand yet, but they soon will be made aware of what the F-35 brings, and that's what he, he understands, and um, he's looking forward to getting it in service. Well, this confirms that it's definitely an international airplane for uh, the United States and all of its partners. We've put together a good jet, a clean jet, that is able to be produced anywhere in the world, and we're able to transfer that technology onto Alenia and teach others how to produce a fifth-generation fighter. So to be part of a program that is world class, is invigorating. And you see it with the workforce here. I mean, the workforce is just fabulous. They are uh, intelligent, they're aggressive, they're uh, excited. Because we've created an industry here that will last 40, 50 years or more. Thank you guys for all your hard work. <laughs> Appreciate it. I know you guys worked hard. With Lockheed and uh, the, the guys that the Lockheed have sent here, it was possible to, um, to increase the, the skill, the professionality of the people in two years. And yesterday when I saw the, my crew around the plane, uh, you see these uh, young uh, guys, very, very young. Uh, you feel that uh, you know that two years ago they was at school and after two years they have made and uh, put into the air a jet like this. It's, it's amazing. They have put a lot of effort in it, the heart and soul, um, blood, sweat and tears. And this airplane uh, represents all of that. And it's not just this aircraft. This aircraft is the first of many, and for many nations to fly from this facility.